Hello once again, it's your boy That's No Moon. Bit of a ropey one today. Um, we're up against the First Order. Uh, scorching sun, whoo, it's hot out there. And basically, whenever anyone reaches 10 stacks, they're going to just expire. And take advantage of this because the AI don't seem to realise that it's so hot outside. Uh, few to get through, obviously I don't have Beskar Mando, so I'm not going to be doing that one. But we're going to try and get the tier 6 crate. Oh yeah, there's lots and lots. Oh my god, they hit so hard. The opening move, they can absolutely wreck you quite quickly as well. Um, but that's the team I did try with grief a little bit. <laughs> did not work. And I think Newt is actually fairly essential in there for things like speed down. Um, and, and I think he brings a lot of goodness. Boba, I'm going with the old faithful Dengar. Now this team really is more so about just survivability. And being able to outlast the 10 turns that they take. A lot of it depends on this first move. So this first move that Kylo takes, usually he will stun. I got a little bit lucky there because he did a basic and he did a basic on Newt as well. So I'm going to get a free turn. Kylo is definitely the fastest. So we want to um, get extortion on him first and foremost. But there's a lot that can go wrong. There's like... First Order Officer, he can throw Turn Meter over to uh, First Order Executioner. I tell you who you do have to look out for, that little guy on the right-hand side. He has a huge AoE, and when our health has um, already decreased because of the event ability, this can absolutely wipe your team as well. So it is important to manage what we're doing. So get the extortion out, speed down, we didn't hit a huge amount of them. Ability block, we're going to stop that. Now, Boba, I did run at like 300 plus. I think you've got to get out there before first um, Special Forces TIE Fighter. TIE Pilot, sorry. And they're going to take a few turns. We need to get to that contract quick as well. We're stuck behind a taunt there, unfortunately. So let's see if we can go ahead and stun. Um, but yeah, if, this can absolutely wreck your day, basically. So we want to get to the contract like nice and quick. We want to keep those stacks of Scorch uh, sort of under control as well. Nice, got a stun there. First order executioner. Let's, so this first run I did with just pure speed on Boba. I didn't remod anyone else. Mm, I could do with this stagger over here in all honesty. Didn't get it. But we've got the contract, so we're going to continue with... Mm, we can't mm -hmm. go anywhere else. My apologies, that's my phone buzzing, not yours. Mm, and first order execution, we've got to keep under control as well. So this one is a real, oh my gosh, hits hard, hits so hard. Nice ability blocks out there as well. Mm, maybe deal with some stacks. This one was, was uh, just an absolutely ropey one. Um, There we go, some nice extortion there. Now we're getting ripping and a rolling. So I think he's got ability block on him anyway. Put some burning out there. Let's work on the others. And it says this one isn't about pure damage. This one is about survivability. Um, there we go. Probably should have cooled down, reduced over here, but he's got target lock, uh, ability block on him anyway. So Newt's third ability, I usually put that on um, on the, the First Order Special Forces TIE Pilot, just because it pulls back that AoE one as well. Mm. This one is a little bit ticky-tacky for trying to manage the stacks of uh, overheat as well. Okay, nice. We've got to stand there, so that's him under control. Get the extortion out. But I also want to be aware. Anything like that's getting too much, got to deal with it as well. So let's take a couple of stacks off Boba. Mm, I think I probably want to just, uh, again, it's automatically I want to go for taunt here as opposed to um, reducing those, those stacks. Nice, another ability block over there as well. Um, yep, definitely going for TIE Pilot. He's unfortunately taunting there. Okay, another extortion out there. And just keep us healthy. And that's why I do like, uh, what's his name, Dengar in this one, because he just adds a huge amount of survivability to everyone. Uh, Django's down once. But he's like kind of end. Don't even 
bother unless you absolutely have to. Don't even bother in um, in trying to take him out. The event ability will do that anyway. It's the side tunes more so first order executioner and um, special forces tie pilot as well. So those are the two that you absolutely need to deal with. Keep them under lockdown with ability block uh, and stuns if possible. Let the event ability do the rest for you. And again, there wasn't an extensive remod here. It was literally just a case of um, I remodded Boba to be much quicker because I felt that ability block was um, was pretty important as well. I'm going to keep my stacks down here. As you can see there, Boba's looking pretty bad. but um, and, and that's where the real danger of the AoE coming in is. I feel that Bosk lead probably helps with a huge amount of survivability with that protection. So now it's just a little bit of a waiting game. Probably shouldn't have staggered him here because he would have died naturally anyway on that turn. So when they get to 10, as you see, they're, they're not um, they're not cleansing. There goes Kylo Ren. Um, and here we go. <laughs> trying to get to trying to kill him off before he naturally kills himself anyway first order stormtrooper this could be a little bit of a funny one because i'll show you in the next run that i did um he actually doesn't take a huge amount of turns so now it's just a furious trying to get my stacks down but essentially just keep him under control and i feel like you can take him out with damage anyway mm, big shot here nice pretty much deals with him and Let's kill him off. There we go. So that one's done. That was tier 7. So managed to pretty much pick up all those feats that get you the tier 6 loot. Um, so we've done all the way up to 7. Full scoundrel battle and going critical as well. Win after scoring 3 hits in a row during allied turns. So let's jump over to the next one. Have a look at a second run. Okay, so for this second run, this is how I modded Boba Fett. Uh, he's around about 271. He's The potency was the biggest one. So I put old Ben's uh, mod set on him. Uh, survivability, you're not going to get a huge amount out, amount out of him at gear 12. But it doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, the potency I felt was probably one of the most important things in this event. There are a few things that can go wrong as well. Like you eat a load of counterattacks like we'll see in this one. Not the end of the world. Um, but as I say, you should be able to get this through this one. Not a particularly hard, doesn't involve any of the new scoundrels. Um, so let's see how this second run went as well. Uh, stun on Dengar, that's fine, that's perfectly acceptable, I don't mind that. Let's get some extortion, so we got a couple of speed down. Speed down on TIE Pilot is like incredibly important. We've got a stagger out there as well. And absolutely ate a load of counter-attacks. Uh, again, priorities here are get to contract quick and reduce cooldowns on uh, type pilot if I can. So contract, contract. Mm, I kind of want to take advantage off him just in case he does it. Go back into contract. Okay, contract has come up now. We're looking good on our stacks as well. Um... But I do want to manage them. They can get out of hand pretty quickly. Take a couple off Bosk there. Stun on Bosk, not ideal. Okay, um, because we managed the stacks pretty well. Oh, God. Well, I, at least I got counter, um, ability block out there as well. Yeah, this... Um, yeah, I think we definitely get another one of these out. He's got speed up on there, so let's turn that into speed down. Um, yep, because we're on contract, first order execution, I ain't going to be doing nothing. Uh, as I said, the ability on the right will reduce cooldowns, but again, I'm stuck under that taunt, so I can't really do anything. Going to heal up here. And let's start working on First Order Executioner. Okay, Newty Boy doing the beers. There we go. Probably take him out here. Yes, I think it's fairly safe to, to take him out here. He's under stun here, so I'll probably start doing a little bit of work on first order uh, pilot there. Reduce these stacks. Uh, can I get a kill here? I can't. Eesh. Am I going to be eating a big... Wow, okay, they go quick. They're like, absolutely get out of control quickly, you know. Okay, oh, that's him nearly done. We're behind a taunt here. So let's put up a taunt ourselves. 
Uh, definitely need to deal with him. Okay, there we go. Definitely need to deal with um, First Order Executioner as well. Ding. Got to manage these stacks, though. I've got seven on Dengar, six on Mute, five. Yeah, we've got to manage these stacks. Okay, let's keep on working. Mm. Yep, let's keep reducing those stacks. Let's keep healing up. Um, yeah, let's go in big hit with Officer. Nope. Let's reduce stacks even more. Oof. Looking good. Looking good. He's on nine. There we go. Maybe reduce cooldowns here. Start working on him a little bit. Reduce my stacks because my stacks are getting absolutely out of control. And that's the issue when you lose a, uh, a character early. It can be a little bit hard to manage these stacks. Let's go for some healing. First order officer is coming up to a dead spot in a second. Couple of turns and he'll be done. Um, like, mm, stun here isn't ideal actually. Okay, let's reduce our stacks. I don't think we're saving Newt. No, we're not. Newt is a goner. But then so is first order officer. Let's do some work here. Ouch. Okay, we're quickly falling by the by. Uh, let's try and keep ourselves alive here. Mm, can we make it? Can we make it? Give me give me a couple of solid big hits. Uh, we're definitely going to be reaching ours. Yeah, let's keep Django going. He's the damage dealer. Uh, we're going to expire in a second. I'm going to put it on myself and Django. Yep, there we go. Uh, big hit here. Oh, that was close. So good luck with yours. That's the basic premise of what I did it with today. Uh, it is a very, very tricky event. Um, so best of luck with it. Let me know as always how you got on. I've been That's My Moon. If you've enjoyed, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you all next time. Cheers, guys.